When did you say, well, that's when I effed up? That's what we want to know on the riff lines, 248-544-WRIF, 248-544-9743, toll free 1-855-9743-101, or text us, 4WRIF, 49743. Voice changing as we head to Anonymous first. Anonymous, when did you say, well, that's when I effed up? So I'm not a big guy, but I've got I've got a gut, and so I was at the uh, department store because I needed a new suit for a wedding, and I noticed they show, sold Spanx for men, which is basically just a super tight T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's supposed to hold your gut in. Yeah. <laughs> and I I came up with the brilliant idea of well I'll try it on to see if it works, and so I took it in the fitting room, and that thing was so tight that I could I couldn't get it down past my nipples. And the bad thing is, is I couldn't, it was locked into position. I couldn't get it down any further. I couldn't get it up. And it was so tight, it had my arms, like, locked my ears, like, straight up. No. <laughs> oh, my God, no. Help! Help! God. Somebody help, something's happened. Oh. So, so that's when you effed up. How, what happened? Well, I, I panicked for a little bit, and then I looked out because there was the hook on the side of the door that you could use to, you know, hang stuff up on. So yeah. I had to shimmy my way over there and kind of get the, 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 the shirt stuck on the hook and then kind of, like, work my way down until it finally popped off. <laughs> <laughs> you and could have really shirt, done like, it. spit you out. Yeah. You know, he took a real risk too, Thanks, like man, for by hooking in. himself. Yeah, like that could have been the end, right? Could have been like stuck that's there. where he could have been On the to hook. this day. Yeah, I love that the panic set in. Yeah, <laughs> we would. Yeah. How oh. embarrassing as oh. a dude trying on Spanx in the first place. That's got to be a highly embarrassing moment. But oh. then to get trapped in that Spanx shirt, <laughs> uh, anonymous. You're on with Dave and Chuck the Freak. What happened? My wife was uh, ready to crash. I knew I had a small window of opportunity to get some loving. And I had a little equipment problem. And I remembered a buddy had given me a Viagra to try. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really think I had that much time. So I crushed it up and made a couple lines and snorted it. Okay. I, uh, it worked, but my head swelled up about the size of a balloon for about a week and a half. I'm sorry, Serious it gave pleasure. your, like, head a boner? It, uh... I Did couldn't some... see. Oh your head was so swollen. Viagra and your head <laughs> swelled up like a balloon so big you couldn't see. Yeah, I I knew I screwed up. I was like, babe, I got a problem. <laughs> I <started> Viagra. <laughs> I walked in with a massive boner, but I could not see. My head kind of swelled up. I mean, you could obviously see my cheeks, my forehead, everything. Oh. So After you about a week, she said, if you're not better by tomorrow, I'm taking you to the emergency room. You let I it go for it. a week with a swollen head? <laughs> oh, yeah. So did you think that snorting, Never... it, snorting it would just make it faster? Well, I thought it would be quick, you know. I thought it would go instantly and work very quickly, and it did. It did, but, but with it, a, uh... a devastating side effect. Very. Balloon head. Did you go about your business? <laughs> did you go about your business? Balloon like, did head. you go to work? No, I couldn't. I couldn't see. You couldn't see for a week, and you waited a week to go to the hospital. <laughs> I could. I mean, I could see, but it was very blurry. I, I had a headache. Oh I couldn't God. do anything. I couldn't concentrate. Oh my lord! Oh lord! <laughs> dude, that's crazy! <laughs> Holy hell! If balloon head. Persist for more than a week. Come take your position immediately. I snorted Viagra. Got this balloon head for a week. I can't see a damn thing. I got a head boner. <laughs> you don't want a head boner. No, you don't. So did his eyes just swell shut? Is that what it sounded I, like? I think what he's. It's almost like Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, like the what the electricity the, guy. Yeah, when he decided to blow himself up, uh -huh, he gets mad. Uh, this one, I know, I upped up when I was young, tomboy, playing in the woods with my friends. I had to go to the bathroom and didn't want to go home, so I decided I'd just go in the woods. I took a crap on a garbage can lid, <laughs> you know, the old metal ones, mm -hmm. and found out real quick there was a yellow jacket nest underneath it. Oh, God. Needless to say, they swarmed out of their nest and stung me all over while my pants were at my knees. I started running down the street toward my house with my pants at my ankles screaming. My friend's dad came out and walked me the rest of the way home. I was stung all over my legs, butt, and bits. Oh. How embarrassing. 
I can laugh about it now, though. And that's a lady, right? That's a lady. That's a lady. <laughs> she was pooping on a garbage can. Oh, that's what you get, ladies, that poop Jeez. on garbage can lids. Mm, May yeah. you be stung by a million bees. <laughs> you, <laughs> a million bee horns. A million bees will sting your bits, <laughs> you dirty garbage can pooping lady. It's very, very <laughs> biblical. <laughs> it is. It is. Send a million bees! <laughs> well, Look at that dirty bitch! You know what happens when you poop on the can. <laughs> One million, One million bees. It's Friday, bitches.